Hi there and welcome. We're in a Moodle course. Today I'm going to show you how to add application enrollment. Now you, this needs to be added by your admin, but after your admin adds it, you're ready to use it as a teacher of your course. So first thing you're going to do is go into participants. I'm under participants. I'm going to open this uh, arrow pointing down and go into enrollment methods. Under enrollment methods, I will see the following. Notice um, these are grayed out. So let me open the menu so I can get enrollment application. Click on that and then I get a pop up. Now I'm going to choose notice uh, require application text. I don't want an attachment because that means that they will have to um, attach a file that I will have to open. And that takes time and I don't have time for that. So uh, to avoid time issues, I'm going to stay away from attachments and simply add the text. Right, so this is the text that I've added. Thank you for your interest in taking. That's the name of the course. Please answer the following questions as thoroughly as possible. Provide thoughtful, concise responses that give us a clear understanding of your background goals and readiness for the course. Now these are required. So they will have to answer these questions. And if they have anything else, they could also add additional information that may not have been included in the questions. We encourage you to take your time and provide complete response and ensure your application reflects your genuine interest and commitment to the course. We look forward to reviewing your submission. All right, so I could have application start date, which is always a good idea. Uh, let's go into 2025. I usually add a little bit past midnight, depending on their time zone, of course which uh, has to be considered. I could also do it beforehand, but then I will have to hide everything so they don't see uh, what hasn't been finished. And profile fields, notice here, I usually ask for country. Well, email is going to be there anyways. Gender, because sometimes we don't know people's genders because these are teachers from around the globe. I don't require a picture, but I do require a time zone. Okay, and the seats are unlimited, no files. And then I'm going to add the method. This is the course and notice guests can't access it. So I'm going to log in. Notice the login is with uh, one of these services, Google, Gmail, Facebook, Microsoft, or Yahoo. Okay, so I'm logged in. You can see at the top right. And this is what I will see. Application start date is Friday, January the 31st, you saw that. Check back later. When the date is ready, okay, they'll come back and they will see this enrollment application. Thank you for your interest, everything that I read to you beforehand. And then they will need to copy this and answer each of the questions and then hit apply. When they hit apply, the uh, teachers of the course will get their application and they will approve it. So let me show you what that looks like so you get a first-hand view. So before I do anything, let me add the answers, click on apply, and this is what I will get. I will see the details of my application. Enrollment application was successfully sent, the date, the time, and then you will be notified when the enrollment has been reviewed. I got an email notification and this is what I will see. I will see everything that the applicant had written, all the answers to the question. I will go to the right here and then hit approve, waitlist, reject or delete. Now the waitlist is a great idea if you want to have all the participants in the course, but you don't want them approved so that they don't see the actual course. So you keep them in the wait list. And that way, when the time comes, you'll be able to either approve or reject. So you just keep them waiting. And then notice, are you sure you want to wait list the selected application? You proceed with that. 
and then notice the applicant has been successfully waitlisted. Now, if you want to change things, you go into the waitlisted. Notice here at the top, approved, waitlisted, rejected. And then you can add approve. If you add approve, notice you'll get this pop-up. Um, the assigned role, it's not a teacher or um, a manager. It's a participant. So you add that. And then you also have the option of adding starting from and so on. So I'm going to proceed and then the uh, applicant will be available in the participants list. Another way, of course, is to go into the applications here, and then you'll get the same thing that you got by email. Notice uh, approved. If you want to see who was approved, you'll be able to see that uh, this person was approved. The date and the time. And that's it. Let me know if you have any questions about this amazing enrollment method called applications.